1370. Two different sources. These are rolled at the branch. Rest NF string and sons. No obvious silvers or anything else on the end. Let's go ahead and dig in on the inside and see what we can find. First hundred down and working on that next. There was 160 there, I think. I see a silver smack dab in the middle. Oh, I think my son is here. He's going to pull it out. What do we got there? Right there. Yeah, it's that one. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yep. It sounds like it. It's a 1967. You want to check that dark one in there too? That one? I don't think so. Whoop. Hold it still, bud. Nope, just a bicentennial. First one on the board. Hopeful. There's more. Out of that next 160, I'm about halfway through. So roll number seven out of it. And you can clearly see where that one is. Let's get this one out. 1965. That's a good looking coin too. Is there anything else in here? Got a hot little batch here, it seems. That was just gonna be dirty. All right, eight more rolls of uh, this batch. Okay, there's only four left of that uh, 16 roll batch. We have another one in here. I think that's just dirty. Yep, at the end. But in the middle, this looks pretty solid too. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a stunner. Jeez. I put that just on the fly, almost uncirculated condition. Wow. If not close to Moon State, I was not expecting that to be a walker. That is amazing. This is definitely going to upgrade the book. I can tell you that right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that at the end of the video. But man, is that just a stunner of a walking liberty. First 90 percenter and by far the most beautiful one I've ever found in the wild. Look at that. Okay, did the partial box. Now I'm working on the brown rolls and you can see I made a pretty big dent in it. And I didn't see it at first, but I think it's a little more obvious on camera. Got a 40 percenter here. I was actually doing a sound check and I heard it. 67, another one on the board. Okay, so 14 rolls into this batch of 500. And I'll be honest, I was duped by a dark one earlier. Recorded it, everything, and it turned out to be a clad. <laughs> so I thought this one looking the exact same way would be clad. Nope. We got a 40 percenter here, 1966. Dirty, but silver. I'll take all the dirty ones I can get. Still got plenty of rolls to go. This is it for the entire batch on this trip. Okay, roll number 19. And I think I got this one here just off the point. We're looking at silver there. Let's go ahead and rip into it. Yeah, that totally is. No fooling this time. Look at that beauty. Is this a proof? Oh my goodness, it is. 1970S proof. Happy to have that. Haven't found a special silver in a while. So we have a proof out of the batch and a beauty of an old coin. What else can we find? Well, we still have 31 rolls left. This is the next roll, sneaky good box. No enders, third silver of this batch. Just off the point again. It's right there in the center. We started fairly cold in the first 14 rolls, but then picked up in the last five or six. Okay, here we have it. That's the reverse. We have a 1965. Nearing the halfway point, let's see if we can pull out some more. All right, we've gone a few. We're getting to the end. This is going to be roll number 47. Also, that one's higher. I did have a um, quarter replace one earlier in this box. Um, so I'm at a loss of 25 cents, but I think I'm going to gain um, a half dollar back there. Anyways, Roll number 47. That looks solid to me, friends. Doing good, nice and crimped there. All right, let's rip this. Solid, could it be? Could it be a 90? It is. There we go, 1960. 
out of Denver. I think I need the 60 Philly. Uh, I'll double check. I already have to pop in the albums anyways towards the end for that uh, stunner of a walking liberty. So I will double check this when I uh, get to my books. Awesome. Another 90 percenter. And it's an old one. Let's get back to it. We still have 13 rolls. This is rule number 40. See that dark one right there? I am pretty sure that's going to be silk. Oh, yeah, that totally has a silver look. No fooling with this one. A lot of tarnish. 69D. 40 percenter. Cool. Ten more rolls yet to go. Let's find another. Hey, we got nine silvers out of that haul. What was it? Roughly 1,700, I think, um, I took away. I'm happy with that, especially considering the quality of the finds, of course, the stunner here out of these nine silvers, not quite double just the stunner, an 80 year old walking Liberty that is just in immaculate condition for being in circulation. Now I know it probably was not in circulation for very long, but still, I mean, you can see all the feathers there, especially on the breast of the Eagle, um, just gorgeous <laughs> happy to have that we got a ben franklin again i still need to check if um this is needed for my albums we're definitely going to see an album fill at the end for the uh, walking liberty maybe for mr ben franklin here um don't have my albums on me at the moment i am currently traveling now the 1970s silver proof it's uh, seen better days but uh, i did see that um, mirror like finish uh, as we found this, I was wondering if it was approved, and sure enough, it is, 1970S. So three special, special silvers, <laughs> I'm going to qualify that as here in this hunt, and then six uh, other 40 percenters on top of that 70. Happy to have them, and just one NIFC on the day. Um, that's all we could muster up, 2004 there, um, and nine silvers, happy to have it there. All right, everyone, we're back. Um, some really cool finds in that hunt. Also, I did a box of $1,000, too. Uh, ended up with this 79P, maybe difficult to see, but that is a wide rim variety. That's the first one I've ever found. Coin is a little beat up in itself, but still happy to have that one. Another unique find. I don't necessarily do any of the other denominations here on my channel. But in this 1941, Walking Liberty, He's going to be an upgrade. Too bad it is not a different date, though. Um, we are working on my uh, Walking Liberty collection. This is all from Coin Roll Hunting. And you see I have a fair amount. Unfortunately, the 41 I have in there is pretty nice. The one we just found is nicer. So we'll go ahead and replace that. I'm going to cut the video and get it out, and we'll insert the new one. Clearly, the one on the right is the better specimen. Um, again, unfortunate that uh, we already had a really nice example in the 41 slot. But anyways, we'll put in the new one and uh, maybe we'll flip up that one we're taking out because it is a good example as well. Happy to have that 40 uh, in there. We'll turn you around just a little bit, make things all nice and pretty. And uh, we're in pretty good shape here. Thanks for joining me on this hunt once again. Uh, that is going to do it for this one. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well on your hunts. If that's your thing, stay happy, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time.